what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make an international payment with your naira debit card yes you heard me right you can also use this card for dollar arbitrage trading if you want to but i'm going to be referencing it specifically for international payment based on our local currency so previously we had some restrictions to our debit card in terms of making an international payment we can't pay for goods and services in different country or currency other than our own local based currency which results in making everyone go look for third parties provider like cheaper cash and payday and the rest and this third parties provider charge us on the parallel market rate which is extremely on the high side due to a lot of demand and in most cases those state parties provider might end up not working at all which you got you stuck on the line so here i comes with a solution on how to literally make an international payment with your own local based naira debit card without having to be worried about the restriction so here we go i want to first start off by saying that now that the Nara debit card is eligible to make an international payment, there are some important benefits that this would enhance. One of them are the exchange rates of the dollar to Nara will now be determined by the free market condition based on our own personal demand and supply theory. So in overall, I'm seeing the exchange rates of the dollar to Nara being balanced over time. So it will not initially spike up in price as before domestically because there will be enough dollar in circulation now. But there is a cash here. The rates of dollar to Naira will now be unified among all markets. So that means there will be nothing like the CBN rates and the parallel market rates. Everything is going to be unified. And obviously, our Naira debit card is also included in this scenario. So for those of you that are intending to make an international payment with your local NARA card or in a scenario where you go to the bank to fill out the form A for dollar in the bank, keep in mind the rate at which your NARA is going to be exchanged for dollar in the bank or on your card is going to be on the unified rate. And the unified rate is a combination of both the CBN rate and the parallel market rate divided by the incoming rates of the foreign currency exchange in the country. So the unified rate is going to be distributed among all foreign market exchange in the country. And keep in mind, it is alleged that the implementation is not going to take place on our existing debit card. So you probably have to go to the bank and request for a new alleged combination card. As the name implies combination card, it is the combination of all your accounts in different banks linked to your BVN in one debit card. So that means you probably have one debit card that will be in control of all your accounts in order for you to effectively utilize the international payment system. And for a matter of fact, the unified rate is going to be determined probably by next month, July, when there will be an increase in the minimum wage of the civil servants, so people can cash up with the current situation financially. So if you are watching the video to this minute, I would really appreciate if you smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as well share it with your friends so they get to also see the analysis as well. So at the end of the day, we can actually see that the moment the unified rate is being implemented, you will be able to utilize the international payment system on your Naira debit card and pay for goods and services in foreign country. So that's all for this video. If you have any question, leave it in the comment down below. I'll get to reply all of it. So in the meantime, I think I'll catch you up in my next one. Bye for now.